Okay, now we're going to put some thermal paste on the CPU. This is probably one of the most important parts to make sure that uh, you get adequate cooling from whether you use an air cooler or a uh, water block like I'm going to use. Now there's some people that subscribe by, you know, they say, you know what, let's just put a dab in the middle and call it good. I don't think that's the best thing to do at all. And so I'm going to do it the, usually the way I do it. This is a brand new tube, so what I'll usually do is start it over here, because sometimes you get some wet stuff. And so I didn't get any. So let's see here. I usually go to the outside, like that, and then some to the middle. Just And usually that's about enough. I'll end up scraping more of it off. But that's what I start out with, and you'll see how I do that. I use a, uh, it's, it's not really a credit card, it's more uh, bendable than that. It's, a, it's actually my health insurance card, and I use it. So what I'll do is I'll just start, I cover the entire thing. I honestly think that's the best way to do it. And when I get extra, I'll just put it on my paper towel so I, I don't end up using as much as it looked like I put on there. But I end up wasting some, which, hell, I, I don't care to waste some as long as I get a good coverage. Now you want it as flat as possible. You don't want any hills or valleys. Companies do a good job machining CPU cores. but you still want to be as flat as possible. So I take it right off the end and I take the excess off. And when I get done, I should have a pretty flat coverage on it. realize I was a little bit out of the picture there. Okay. So, I went ahead and put it on there. And I got a, a, you know, a small film all the way through it. There's just a little bit of some texture there, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Again, when I put thermal paste on there, I'd rather have a little bit more than necessary than not enough. Okay, so I got thermal paste on it and I'm ready to socket it into the... Okay, uh, I got thermal paste on my CPU. I'm going to socket the processor. Now 1366 uh, sockets, usually this piece here, uh, which I'm not even showing you, usually this piece right here goes up. So it'll be this piece here going up. So let me go ahead and put that in there. I don't know how well you're going to get to see this. You don't want to drop it, you don't want to wiggle it, you want to just drop it straight down. There, that's in there, that's as simple as that. Let's get a little close up. There we go. I'll put the retention bracket down. Make sure it's secure, then this will hold it in place. So there you go, it's, it's socketed and ready to go. And after I get that in there, I feel a lot better because anytime you have the processor out of the socket you know you got a cat or something jumps up there or you drop paper or, or coolant down in, in between the pins that's not a good thing so now I feel better I got that part done so let's go ahead and get the uh, water block one thing I mentioned is the old water block that I pulled out let's zoom out here the old water block I pulled out what I do immediately is see I put packing tape on the bottom of it and that's so you don't get a fingerprint on it. If you ever touch the bottom of this, it almost takes uh, gasoline to get it off. You know, you can try 
rubbing alcohol, but usually oxidation will happen and you'll get blemishes which of course will hurt cooling. So you don't want to touch the surface at all. So once I, I, you didn't see it in the video, but once I pulled it off, after I'd spilled my coolant, I wiped the thermal uh, paste off and then I put tape on it right away so it didn't get any fingerprints.